Hey everybody, this is DMAC Wild for the Outdoors. Uh, just coming in from the frog and turtle races. We had a great time at Commerce Days hosting that. Man, the kids had a fantastic time. We spent the last couple nights grabbing frogs and having a blast. And I tell you what, the kids really loved it. We brought plenty of frogs so that even kids that didn't have frogs could come and get in the race. Casey, great idea. Uh, but anyway, now that frog races are done, we're going to eat them. Don't, can't let them go to waste. So I'm going to show you how I process frogs. And then on a later video, we're going to be cooking them. So I'm going to put you over the shoulder, show you what to do. First off, you got to dispatch the frog in a humane manner. That's about the best way I can put that. Either cut their heads off, bump them on the head real hard, whatever you got to do to get them done quickly and humanely. All right, we've got our frog dispatched quickly here. And uh, pretty much everything from here up is really not edible. There's a little bit of meat right here if you want to work at it. But this is all just fat or skin. No meat. As you can see, the cartilage right there, all just skin and fat and guts. The head ain't even got anything. All you're looking for, really, is the leg. What I'm going to do is come in right here above the hips, make a little incision. Go all the way around the body. And I take my, where are they at? I got my skin and pliers here. Clipping feet off. These are just catfish skin and pliers that you can buy anywhere. I'll go ahead and get them out of the way. You know, I'm always got to have a gut bucket nearby. I'm going to grab them by the front leg. And grab and start pulling. Pull all that skin off. Come out real quick and easy. Now I want to cut this right above the thighs here. Oh, he peed on me. And this can be tough on these bigger frogs. Just roll my knife across there. Got any extra bone, clip that off. You're going to feel them kick a little bit because there's nerves still in there holding them joints together. But clean all that off. That's how I like to do my frog legs. Lay them in some water. You grab them frogs that are alive, if you grab them like that in between their legs, they can't get away and you can do you know, whatever you want. If you want to ax them, you can cut them in the back of the head right there. And that kills them pretty quick. Separate the spine and the brain and he's dead.
Got them right there at the joint. Once I get a mess in there, I'll take these into the house, rinse them off real good, and soak them for a day in salt water, just like I do most of my wild game. Well, that's the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Frogs are one of my favorite meals. I absolutely love frog legs. I try to have them every year on my birthday. So, uh, good eating. You can just go out there and grab them. Yeah, you got to be a little gutsy. <laughs> walk out in them old stagnant ponds and swampy areas but I tell you what for those big old frogs like we got there ain't nothing better they are absolutely delicious stay tuned I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube go check us out on Facebook and as always I love y'all God bless and I'll see you next time Wild for the Outdoors. Check us out around the cabin. That's www.aroundthecabin.com. Check the campfire for listings of our live show. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends. And hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.